we have a new project out of Stanford, which is the best AI researcher that I have ever used. Simply give it a topic and it is going to create an entire Wikipedia about that topic. You can run the whole thing locally and it works really well. The best part, it will actually reference each of the websites that it got the information from in the Wikipedia itself. That is what you're seeing here. So I asked it to create me a wiki based on artificial intelligence, and this is it. it gave me business and industry, healthcare, education, security, basically an entire team of AI agents researched this. Then for each of the facts that it output, it actually referenced the web page that it got it from. And today I'm going to show you how to install it, get it all set up and get it running. And you can run everything locally if you want. The only thing you can't run locally is the web search. So you can see it's open source. It is running locally on my computer, although we are using the OpenAI API right now, but you don't have to. Now, before I show you how to set this up locally, you can actually test it without setting it up at all. They have a demo page at storm.genie.stanford.edu. And you can see here, they already have pages that are fully researched right here very, very impressive. And one thing that looks like it's coming is this little toggle, human AI collaboration mode available soon, which also looks very cool. So now let me show you how to install it. All right, so here's the GitHub page. It already has nearly six and a half thousand stars. Hasn't been out that long. STORM stands for synthesis of topic outlines through retrieval and multi-perspective question asking. Now, I did run into one bug and I actually had to change the code to get it working locally, but I'll show you how to fix it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is open up VS Code. CD to whatever directory that you want this stored at. So I usually like to put everything on my desktop just when I'm first testing it out. So that's what I'm gonna do, CD desktop. Next, we're going to come back to the Storm GitHub page. We're gonna click this little green code button and we're gonna copy this GitHub URL right there. Then we come back to our VS Code and we type git clone, then we paste in the URL that we just copied, hit enter. That's going to clone that repository to our desktop. Once we've done that, we're going to CD into Storm. And next we're gonna use our favorite Python environment management application, Conda. So Conda create dash N Storm Python equals 3.11. Now I already have an environment called Storm, so it's gonna ask me if I wanna overwrite it, and yes I do, but you won't see that. Okay, next I'm gonna proceed. Then we grab this command right here, Conda activate Storm. We're gonna paste it in and then we activate that environment and we can tell it's active because it says it right there. Now from there, we're going to install everything in requirements.txt. So pip install dash r requirements.txt and hit enter. All right, so that's done. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to go up to file and say open folder. Go to the desktop and we're gonna open up Storm. Now it does reset our terminal, so let's open that back up. And the first thing we're gonna do is conda activate Storm, hit enter. So now we have it active again. And over here, we're going to create a file called secrets.toml and I'll show you how to do that. So you're gonna right click, new file, and call it secrets.toml and then hit enter. Now, back on the GitHub repo page, we're just gonna copy all of this, which is under the getting started header. Copy that code, come over here and paste it in. Now, the first time going through this, I'm gonna show you how to do it with OpenAI, but you can do it through the OpenAI API, but you can also do it through Azure if you want, but we're not gonna be doing it through Azure, so I'm simply going to delete that, delete this line of code as well. So the OpenAI API type is going to be OpenAI. So the first thing we're gonna need is an OpenAI API key. So if you don't already have an OpenAI account, go ahead and create one, and then you go to platform.openai.com slash API dash keys. We're going to click this button, create new key, and I'm going to call it storm YT because I will revoke this key before publishing this video. Grab the key. We're going to switch back to VS code and we're going to paste it in on line two, and then we can hit save. The next thing we need is a u.com search API key. And u.com does cost money, but they give you a free trial so you don't actually have to pay anything if you just wanna try this out. So you go to api.u.com slash dashboard. It'll ask you to sign in, go ahead, sign in. We're gonna click this create API key button right there. Here under web search, we're going to click generate and then here is our api key which i will copy so i couldn't actually find a way to revoke api keys from u.com so i'm not going to show that one so we're going to paste in the u.com api key right there 
and then hit save, and then you're pretty much done. So there are two ways to get this working. One, you can do everything command line, which is nice, and it outlines all of the different options that you have right on this page. But to make it a little bit easier, they created a very simple UI that we can use, and that's my preferred way. It just makes everything much simpler. So to get that working, you're going to look for this folder called front end, and then within that, there's a dot streamlit folder, you're gonna right click on secrets.toml and then copy it because we want it to also be in the streamlit folder. And then you're gonna right click on this dot streamlit and click paste and that will make it available to the front end. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is CD into the demo light directory. Then you're going to run streamlit. So streamlit run storm.py and then hit enter. And there we go. It looks like it may have worked on the first try. And here you can see the streamlit server is up and running. We have it on local host. It is still trying to spin up. So maybe it didn't work, but we'll see. Okay, so it does look like it worked. Let's start your first research and then we'll type dogs and then we'll do research. And we should be able to see all the logs happening here. So it says brainstorming, open it, start identifying different perspectives for researching this topic. And there we go, we can see the HTTP request to the OpenAI endpoint. So it looks like we didn't run into any bugs this time. Maybe they updated the code since the last time I pulled, which was I think yesterday, but good for them. This should work for you. Here we go, it's doing all of the browsing. Look how many different pages it is browsing so fast. Okay, so the article finished. Let's see, show final article. And here we go. All the information we could ever want run locally and it did all the research in real time. This is the most real time information it could have possibly pulled. So we have taxonomy and evolution, physical characteristics, behavior, all very well organized and references to each of the articles that it got the facts from. Over here, we can actually select the references and it'll link directly to it and give us a highlight of each of the articles. It is such a good researcher. Okay, but now what if you don't wanna hit OpenAI's API? And I guess technically you could probably set up your own web scraper too, although that's a pretty big thing to accomplish. So you can get all of this except for the web scraping running locally if you want. And currently they support support VLLM with Mistral, and they actually have an example of how to do it, but I haven't set it up myself. And I've seen a GitHub issue where they talk about getting Olama working, but again, I couldn't really get it working. I didn't try that hard. If you wanna see me do a full local tutorial of this, just let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.